Does your child complain of heel pain after a long soccer or basketball practice? Her symptoms are most likely due to the painful inflammation of the heel's growth plate. This pediatric heel pain is often given the name Seaver's disease. The problem is very common in physically active kids. As a parent, you'll often notice your child limping over time. It can only affect one or both of the heels at the same time. Factors that can predispose one to acquire the condition are tight heel cords, which is a limitation in motion when one pulls the foot and ankle towards their body, excessive weight-bearing activities, overpronation, high arches, obesity, and wearing non-supportive shoes. The diagnosis can usually be made merely based on symptoms and history. Often one will have pain with the sides of the heels are squeezed in addition to the back of the heel. X-rays are often used to thoroughly evaluate the condition and to rule out other serious problems. Treatment often consists of reducing activity, supporting the heels with cushioning and lifts, custom orthotics made specifically to one's condition, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication, physical therapy, and sometimes even immobilization. No pain, no gain does not apply to this diagnosis. It requires treatment with rest, ice, and proper shoes and inserts. Don't let your child suffer through the heel pain. Pushing them through the pain does not toughen them up. There is a good reason they're limping. Come see Dr. Green or Dr. Jameson at Kansas City Foot and Ankle.